Hello traders, I hope you had uh, an amazing week so far and a profitable week, of course, with the interest rates coming today as the time of the recording, expecting some bullish movement on EU and GU and gold after the Fed rates hit. So let me know down in the comments if I was right or not. In this video, we're going to talk a bit about market structure and how we can easily understand how the structure works and especially how to use the four hour structure. So as you know, market structure is one of the most important things and one of the most common things that every trader that's coming into trading needs to know. So if you're not familiar to market structure, basically in a, in a bullish market, this is a higher low, this is a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Everyone teaches this is basic, basic information. So we're not going to go into that. But the thing that most traders get confused with is how to actually understand market structure while on the charts and when to look for buys and sells. And today I'm going to give you a really small trick that I use and that my students also use in order to identify how the structure works. And if you are in a trending bullish and in this video i'm gonna present to you my simple trick that me and my students use in order to identify the market structure all the way from the four hour to 15 minutes let's say but usually i use it on the four hour because the four hour time frame is one of the best time frames to use when it comes down to market structure so the trick is really simple you just double click on the candles and you disable the wicks that simple and now look at that so you probably never saw this before because not a lot of people use this trick but if we remove the wicks then we are left with the price section at its poorest form so what wicks are in fact so let's say we have a candle and then this huge wick this huge wick is usually just a liquidity grab this wick is just a reason for a price to come up to get positions to sell price down so whenever you see a huge wick or even any week that doesn't represent the market structure that just represents the positions and where they were taken so that's why when it comes down to market structure the best way is just to ignore those weeks and just focus on the body closes also if you are familiar about the breaks of structure if you watch my previous video a break of structure is only classified when the body of the candle closes above the previous candle so if we look at the example right here in this area we have a break of structure to the downside because this candle has closed below this candle that made the high so now this is a low the next candle you can see how it respected this higher low and what happened next it created a new lower low so a break of structure only classifies when the candle with the whole body and not the wicks closes above a previous candle usually a previous Previous higher low or lower high even here you can see how we had a break of structure to the upside the price failed to fulfill this low and then started going down creating another break of structure right here and another one right there after this candle closed so that is why it's very important to watch how the candle closes in order to identify what's going to happen next and you usually do that on the four hour time frame so let's take a look at AUD USD on the four hour time frame and do some market back test and market structure so let's start off here okay so if we look only on the bodies and not the wicks you can clearly see the market structure here has turned bullish why because here we made the new low and here we just shifted the structure really really nice and then we created this low and then this high then we created this low and then we created eventually this high right here now if we look here you can see how price started going down this candle closed below this candle it made a new low and then what happens a lower high comes in then creates a new lower low if we take a look then the next stop you can see how this price here created a new this was actually a, a nickel high so then created a new higher low and then pushed to that new higher high whenever you are in doubt about the market structure and where it wants to head next just remove the wicks and you're going to see it much clearer but respect it but then it failed to push higher and instead what happened it made a new low a break of stocks to the downside and then it came back to this area to create a higher low in order to push for the new lower low which happened right there you see how clear it is how clear you can see the structure in the four hour even here bang bang higher low created a new lower low price came up to this higher low right here it respected it because it didn't close above closed below if we look at the just at the uh, at the bodies you can see how it closed below and now what happened price took the low and created the new low really really easy price action but if we turn on the wicks you can see how confusing everything got like now i don't really understand what price wants to do here it looks bullish but here it looks bearish wicks to the upside price starts to wants to go up and 
everything like that. So it's really, really confusing, right? So let's turn it back off again. And now this is an important thing. You can see how price started going down. So if it respects this area, there's a chance that price can reverse and push higher. So even if we go down on 15 minutes, the 15 minutes, you can see how it closed down. But this, this little trick doesn't usually work that good on 15 minutes because it's just a smaller time frame and it's going to be like a lot of reversing and a lot of fake outs. So the best time frame you can use is the four hour time frame. But if we go back more, let's say here, more to the back, let's watch here. You can see market structure shifting perfectly. You see the low being taken, break of structure. This high gets respected, so it creates a new low. This gets respected, creates a new low, creates a new low. Then it comes back to this area. It respects that high. What does it do? Create a new low. This gets respected and then creates a new low. And here structure shifted, made a little downtrend and then started pushing up came back this respected and then price pushed higher so it's really uh, a really nice trick that you can use in order to stop getting lost into the structure so the time frames you can use them is especially on the four hour one hour and 15 minutes you can use it even on the smaller time frame if you want i don't really use it but just look at the difference between when you put the weeks in it everything gets more confusing and this is a psychological thing because the market is based on your psychology in order to make you lose so when you see all these weeks you get confused a lot you don't know what direction the market wants to go so if you wait for the candles to close especially to close like keep in mind you need to wait for the candles to close when you're not watching the weeks just because you need to see how the body is closed so now you can see the one hour the one hour is about to close if it closes below this one then it's a break of structure a price may pull back in order to continue lower if it does close above this level then you can see price going up and then if you turn the wicks and you see like okay there was a huge week to the downside but then price closed at the same body level then price may go up so that's about it with this video on market structure if you want more videos about market structure just let me know i really like to explain market structure because i think it's one of the most important aspects of trading because if you don't understand market structure and you don't understand if you are in a bullish market or a bearish market and you don't know which leg you are in if you are in a higher high or higher low what you should expect etc etc you're gonna get lost a lot and confused and you're not probably gonna be profitable also don't forget to join our free discord down below and watch our free strategy video you just have to go to the link down below in the description box sign up with your email it's completely free watch the video if you want to hear my story and then you're gonna get the free strategy sent to you by email that strategy is a simple one to three one to five risk you are trading which can really help you get started in trading saying that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video